and speak through your woman servant this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, let the words that are brought forth, O oh God, to feed your sheep this morning, O oh God, be that which you want to be done, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we ask that you cancel this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would name be exhorted and lifted up high in this place, O oh God, this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for what it is they are about to do in the midst of your people this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we crave your um, um, knowledge this morning, O oh God. We crave your wisdom this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we are seated at your table this morning, O oh God. To partake, O oh God, of your heavenly bread this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, I pray, O oh God, that you will strengthen each and every one of us this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, you see each and every knees this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, let your will be done in everybody's life here this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we are not here to play church this morning, O oh God. But Heavenly Father, to worship and lift you up, O oh God, this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, I pray, O oh God, that you anoint the speaker this morning, O oh God. Cancel self, O oh God. Let your will be done. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Let us just all come and worship this morning. My hallelujah, just before this speaker comes. Just before this Please remain silent. 
we are now going to bring forth today's speaker. And this speaker is no ordinary person. This person is a person who has been anointed by God. That is why this person is an apostle. And we know that she brings the undiluted word, thus said the Lord, and she doesn't put it out to tell it as it is. This morning, let us welcome none other than our own apostle, Dr. Bishop Juliet Fager, this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord. Come on, I need you to clap your hands for the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. here for me, please. Just hold on my waist so I don't trip. Praise the Lord. Everybody raise your hands. Come on. If you come to worship the Lord, if you come to worship the Lord, just raise your hands. Lord, if you come to worship the Lord, raise your hands. Oh, Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus.
There are some of you that might not be able to catch on the camera because of how it is positioned. Praise God. But that's all right. Praise God. You're in the house of God. Come on, come on. Raise those hands and open your mouth all over. Raise those hands and open your mouth all over. Come on, give God praise. Open your mouth, open your mouth and give Him praise. Thank you for life. When we look around and see all the shooting, all the killing, all the accidents, all of the earthquakes, all of the hurricanes. Oh, we want to lift up our brothers and sisters in Texas. We want to remember them. Come on, somebody. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the last days there would be diverse, you know, earthquakes in diverse places. Come on, somebody. Yeah, diverse places mean different places. Praise God. We would hear of war and rumors of war. When we look around today in our society, everywhere you turn every second it is war. Not only that, but we got so many little babies that are being murdered. We got so many children, innocent children with great potential, that had great potential. And they're being cut down by the gun. They're being cut down because of accidents. They're dying with cancer and dying with all kinds of things. We know that big people are dying so too. But I'm talking about the future generation. Come on somebody. I'm talking about our future. And it's, it's one thing. It's bad enough with girls. But it's even worse with our boys. Come on somebody. I just want us to take a moment at this time to lift up our hands and open our mouth. We want to pray. We want to pray, oh God. We want to pray for our families. We want to pray for our children. Come on, come on. As a matter of fact, let's stand because you might get too comfortable sitting down. I can follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's open our mouth. You must know what you need God to do. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, let's pray in this church. This church was founded on prayer and fasting. This church was birthed on prayer and fasting. Let us open our mouth if you know if you're not ashamed to pray. I know some of you whispering, but I want to pray at this time. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I lift up my hometown, Grand Cayman. I lift up the Cayman Islands before you at this time, oh God. Lord, I lift up, oh God, the people of the Cayman Islands. Lord, I lift up our parliament, our politicians, oh God. Lord, our leaders in various capacities. I wish I had some help in here. Uh, God, I lift up the educational system, oh God. Uh, Lord, that is preparing our young people, oh God, for the future. Oh God, hallelujah. Father God, I pray, oh God, that prayer will not be taken out of our schools. Uh, prayer, oh God, in the Holy Bible will not be replaced, oh God, with humanism and secularism, oh God. Lord, I pray, oh God, uh, for the same God of Israel, uh, the covenant God. God, oh God, to be in our schools, oh God. We are losing a generation. We are losing an entire generation, oh God. A generation that know not God. A generation that cares nothing about God. A generation that don't want to hear about God. I know some of you don't want to pray as parents. Oh, glory to God. Oh, but they say we're sweet nanny goat shall run his belly. Come on, somebody. What sweet nanny goat will run his belly? I think that parents had better find back their place with God. I think that parents, fathers, and mothers need to run back to the church again. Need to run back in the house of God again. Not just going to dance, carnivals, and leaving their children, oh God, to the mercy of the world. But Father God will run back to God, will turn to God. Oh God, right now, I lift up Jamaica, oh God. My God, if I can get three persons in here with me that want to pray for Jamaica. Oh, glory to God. You don't know who will be next. You don't know what will be next. Nobody knows. I want to lift up Jamaica. I want to lift up Canada. I want to lift up the United States of America. I want to lift up all the Caribbean nations and islands. I want to lift up, oh God, all of the Asian countries. I want to lift up, oh God, 
the motherland Africa. Come on, somebody now. Oh, if we have to have prayer meeting on a Sunday morning, uh, let it be so. Uh, but I'm gonna follow. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, I'm gonna follow now uh, the leading of the Holy Spirit. Just give me that sound softly. I'm gonna follow now uh, the leading of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we don't need eloquent preaching. Uh, we don't need no more prophetic words. Uh, we don't need no more prophecies. What we need uh, is to fall down, uh, get back at the altar. Uh, what we need uh, is to see God face again. Uh, uh, what the church need uh, is repentance. Uh, we are standing uh, on repentance ground. Uh, are you tired of praying? Uh, are some of you tired of praying? Um, can I get the 12 of you that still holding up your hat and still praying and praying out to God? Uh, we need prayer to return in the house of God. Uh, more than preaching, uh, more than singing. Uh, we got nice singers, uh, we got nice preachers, uh, we got nice prophecies coming up. Uh, but what we need uh, is repentance. Uh, what we need uh, is resurrection. Uh, what we need uh, is restoration. Uh, and then we will see revival. Uh, we will not have revival until repentance takes place. Uh, we will not see revival until restoration takes place. Uh, can somebody shoot up your hand uh, and help Apostle pray here today? Help me somebody in this place. Thank God for a church. 
Sometimes even in your predicament, God can use it to bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So we know what happened with her. Praise God. Hallelujah. And she went and she said, praise God to the king uh, of Israel, wife. She said, listen, I know a prophet in Israel. And I know that if you send your, I'm going to just say your husband, the king, to him, praise God, he'll receive his healing. And so we went on to say, praise God, how, praise God, we, we knew that the wife listened to that helper, praise God, and uh, praise God, and it was so, praise God, that the king decided to write a letter, reference, come on, yes. even though Naaman was a mighty man, talk to me now, uh, come on, we're in 2 Kings 5. Uh, even though Naaman was a mighty man, he needed a reference. Come on. He needed a reference to take to the man of God. What would it be like, praise God, if we could get back to that place, praise God. And that's why, praise God, I am one, praise God, that I do believe in references. Praise God. If you're a person that you don't come to church on a regular basis, if you're a person that we only see you once in a blue moon, don't come to me for a reference. Because the only thing that I can write for you is you visit church once in a while, but I hardly see you. Because I can't write a reference and tell a lie for you. And then down the road, you see one come back and throw it in my face. I said, Bishop wrote me a reference and she told a lie. Can we get a clap for the Lord for that? So we're not keen on doing references if we're not going to tell the truth. Amen. Come on, I'm not going to make up no lie. I've known you for 20 years. When I, when I, when, when I told a lady, it might have only been one week in total. Because I want to see you once in a blue moon. Come on. And so here it is, praise God. That, this is an example of what reference letters is about. Talk to me. The king, praise God, he wrote... A letter. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I, I, I praise God. And what happened is that a letter was done on behalf of Naaman. And it was sent to the king of Israel. Where, praise God, Elisha was. Praise God. And so, when the king got the letter. When the king got the letter. The king said, but wait. They're looking trouble with me. They're picking a fight with me in verse 7. They're, they're picking trouble with me. He rent his clothes and he said, Am I God to kill and to make alive? And this man do it sent on to me to recover a man of his leprosy. Here we see, praise God, that the king was the king. But he had no power when it comes to the covenant God. Let's praise the Lord. Come on. Come on, let's, let's get rid of Let's praise the Lord. Ah, uh, praise God. That's why you've got to be careful who you're going to with your problems. Come on, I just need about three you now. You've got to be careful who you're going to with your problems. There are some of the people, there are some of some folks we will go to a, psych, a, a, a psychic. When I look at the television station here in Jamaica, Years ago, a person would have gone to prison for those kind of things. And now when I look at the rape on the television station, all I can see advertising is, oh, we are workers. Psychics, in, in a cute way, psychics, telling you how they can mend your marriage, how they can bring him back. Some of you not say nothing. I hope none of you not going to none of them, but if it does, that's all right. Let me preach. Can somebody clap your hands for the Lord? I got some people quiet now, but I'm, I'm looking, I'm scanning. Some people quiet now, praise God. Hallelujah, but I ain't going to come down your avenue. Praise the Lord, because if it is God, you got to make sure that it is God. You can't be mixing psychic. You can't be mixing of your worker. You can't be mixing necromancer. You can't be mixing oil medat and oil medis. 
I begged me and doubt, I begged me and did so. Somebody going to say, Jeff, help me in here. Somebody need to hear me. If it is God, then let it be God. Don't rub up. Don't rub up. Don't rub up. Let me say it again. Don't rub up. If it's God, let it be God. Here we see the king was the king, but he had no power. He had no authority in the spirit realm. Come on. And that's why as men and women of God, as servants of God, we cannot be mixing up. We can't find ourselves mixing up. Praise God. That's why as a woman or a servant of God, you got to be careful that you don't take the gift that God has blessed you with and turn it into something else. Just raise your hand and say, for God, let it be God. So afraid to say to you know something. Yes, man, yes, man. Uh, yeah. But what if I'm God, let it be God? If it's God, let it be God. You don't need nothing to sprinkle around your house. You don't need anything to sprinkle in your house. Take Bishop advice. Because if you want calamity to lurk in your house, and to never depart out of your house, carry something that is really outside of God in your house and depend on that thing. The devil will come in and he might make it look like it working in the beginning until he trap you. And after he traps you, your life go right down the drain. Because everything out of you is that you must go and look for help. Yes. Look onto the hills yes. from whence yes. cometh your help. Yes. Your help must come from God. Yes. That's why the king was upset. Because the king said, Am I God? Why are you sending this man to me? Why are you sending a letter to me? But guess what? When God gets ready to bless you, He know how to do it. It so happened that the letter wasn't sent to the prophet. The letter wasn't sent to the prophet Elisha. But it so happened the rumor got out. That's why you must be careful because rumor spread. And when you think it's a secret, when you think it's a secret, everybody know about it. The town knows about it. Somebody might be saying, well, thank God, those that I go to don't come to church. And nobody from this church do know them. The Holy Ghost knows them, though. Amen. Clap your hands for the Lord. The Holy Ghost knows them. The Holy Ghost knows them, whether they're from St. Thomas or wherever they're from. The Holy Ghost knows them, whether they're from Portmore. Clarendon or wherever. The Holy Ghost knows them. If it's God, put your trust in God. Put your trust in God. Put your trust in God. I know some people are not clapping because they are afraid now. Put your trust in God. Put your trust in God. Put your trust in God. And so it so happened that it came that it was so when Elisha, the man of God, one is called the king, and one is called the man of God. There's a difference. There, one is called the king, and one is called the man of God. That's why, that's why as a woman of God, as a man of God, you must live up. You must hold up your head that somebody can look at you, even when you don't know, and say, there goes a man of God, a woman of God. Come on, somebody. And praise God, 
Elijah heard what the king had did. And he sent and told the king. He said, why you rent your clothes? Watch the authority from Elijah in verse 8. And I'm paraphrasing so that you can understand. He said, why you, why you tear your clothes? He said, why, why, are you, why are you worrying, king? Just send them over to me. Let's give God a clap, man. I feel I know where I'm going. Some of you, some of you, some of you will miss your blessing here today. I know that my friends on Facebook are being blessed. Uh, Elisha said, oh, king. Oh, why are you, why you tearing off your clothes? Why are you worrying yourself? Send the man to me. I love that one. I love that. Somebody just got the revelation. The rest don't get it. Let me say it again. Send him to me. Send him over to me. Praise God. Let him come to me now. And he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. Come on. What I learned also from this is that God also was ready to do another miracle through the man of God. God was getting ready to show Israel who had doubted him that there is still men and women around and there is still a God. Come on somebody. How many of you want to open your mouth and give this God a praise? Come on, uh, some of you are not saying that now. How many want to praise God? There is still a true living God. There is still a God of Israel. This is the God that I'm talking about. This is the God that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about no other God. I'm talking about the God of Israel. Come on! And so, praise God, in verse 9, Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. Watch me. I always tell people, never abuse meekness. Never take a person's meekness for weakness. Elisha, come on, give God a clap. Don't you forever make the mistake of thinking because someone is nice that it must be abused. Elisha could have come outside of the door and waited. I learned a lot out of this passage of scripture. Elisha could have come outside or stood by his door and wait for the man, Naaman, the commander, the high man, the big man, the rich man, the wealthy man to come. But Elijah, I would paraphrase, got himself a cup of coffee and sat back in his seat, exhorted, and lop his leg and relaxed himself. And all of a sudden, Elijah heard a knock, but Elijah saw them coming from before they even bend the corner. Amen. Come on. Because a prophet is a seer. Or oh, some of you not saying that. Amen. I don't want to start this generation of prophets now and prophetesses. Reading out a book. Everything they're going to read out a book and I repeat out a book. A, a true prophet or prophetess will see things before it happens and can tell you things that only God himself knows about and you and it would have had to be God revealed it to you can we give this God a God it's the generation of prophets that I see today is all about blessings it's all about getting rich, getting new cars, getting new clothes. Someone is going to bring you a million dollar this week. Nothing about get your house in order. 
clap your hands and all. Nothing about repent. Nothing about turn your life over to God. And so Elisha sat there and they knocked on the door. Watch the man Elisha, the man of authority. Naaman is a man of authority. Naaman is a commander. Naaman was in charge of the military. Naaman commanded respect. Naaman knew who he was. Naaman was next to the king. But he had leprosy. Watch the man of God. Humble himself. Like yes, brother, brother. Watch the man of God. The man of God, when he heard the knock, He sat down in his chair, seemingly. Let me fix my little frock here. He sat down in his chair and he relaxed. And I can just imagine. He said to the messenger, he said, Son, go to the door. And I want you to tell the one at the door that I say, Go down to the river Jordan. You're not listening to me. Uh, go and tell him, go down to the river Jordan and tell him that I, the prophet Elisha, see. <laughs> Can I get some help here? Tell him that I, Elisha, the prophet, said uh, that when he reached river Jordan, <laughs> uh, don't take any shortcut just obey the voice of the prophet I want him to dip make sure that he go under I want somebody not hearing this preacher I don't want him to just dip halfway we got too many people in the church uh, that is halfway in the church uh, but I hear God saying I'm about to dip you so you fully in the spirit of God again. I wish that I had some Holy Ghost warriors in here. He said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he said, tell him that I said, Dip. How many times? Some of you say it because you're not sure. How many times? Tell him I said to go and dip. Seven times. And if he go and he dip seven times, he's going to be healed of his leprosy. The Bible says, Nehemiah stood by the door and he heard the messenger. Come, 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 everybody. Yeah, you stand right here. Uh, Brother Steve, come here. Come here, Brother Steve, right here. Come here. I can show you what can happen, how you can lose your blessing. Come on, you just stand right here. So, Naaman, if you know what I'm asking, the messenger come tell you, see, go dip seven times, but you staring. I have a message of what you don't want to receive. Come on, I'm on some of you. You, you, you don't want to receive what the messenger bring to you from the prophet. Because you're a big person. Talk to me, preacher, you know what? Because you are Mr. So and so. Yeah, because you are Mistress So and so. Do you know who I am? Stay right here, you got to wait. Come on, you're a messenger. Ah, do you know what Naaman is saying? Come on, you need to act with some attitude, or I gotta have to get somebody else who knows the story. Ah, you need to act up. Come here, Brother Darcy. Come here, but I need somebody to, to get this thing right for me. Come on, Brother Steve, come back on the keyboard. You do stiff for me. Come on, you need loose now. Come on. Come on, when you get chance for you, come on, you are Naaman. Come on, look at him, man. Come on, you, you, you know how to do, you know the story. Look at him. Who are you talking to? And flash your hand right now. It's who you're talking to. Maybe you're, yeah. yeah you're, not, you're not a prophet. You're not a prophet. Point your hand at him and speak with authority, but I'm talking to you. Yeah, the, yeah, come on, right? Yeah. Come on. I love, come on. Yeah, try time, try. Yeah. So, so, where is the prophet? 
Profit now, coach. Stay right there. Profit now, coach. So I can just imagine half an hour left. Neighbor still stand up. Oh, come this way, girl. come this way, so you don't come out again. Come walk up and down with your hand behind you. Neymar still wondering, where is Elisha? Come on, the king never sent me to no messenger. He sent me to Elisha. Come on, somebody. You don't hear me, somebody. You need to start praising God if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, where, 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 where is the man of God? I want to see the man of God. I want the prophet to touch me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want a messenger. I want the prophet. Yes, I want a prophet to come up and touch me. Because I don't I, I don't respect his messenger. Come on. I don't respect his messenger. So Neymar say I ain't moving. And so come come here. Neymar stay right there. And then you yeah. What do you say he want? He, you telling me he don't want to go to what we do? No, he wants to meet you. He wants to talk to you personally. Say it loud and clear. What do you say? He wants to talk to you personally. Why you come out there anointing personally? Oh, so he's disrespecting the voice of the prophet. Yes. Well, he is a big man. Do you know that Naaman is a rich man? Yes. Guess what I want you to do for me? Are you listening to me? Guess what I want you to do for me? I want you to go back one more time and tell Naaman, and then you come back inside. Go back one more time and tell Naaman, the prophet says, go down to River Jordan and dig seven times, or he can go back to his homeland. Clap your hands for the Lord. This is me paraphrasing. Go down, because I am not coming out. I am a servant of the Most High God. And when I speak, I speak with authority. When I speak, I speak with authority. When I say, go, you go. When I say, stay, you stay. Because I know that if I tell you to go down to River Jordan, I know that the healing virtue of God Almighty God is going where for every step that you take as you go down to River Jordan. Sometimes we can lose our blessing. Sometimes we can lose our miracle. Because we want the prophet to come and touch us. Sometimes a brother bring a word. Sometimes a little sister bring a word. Jordan, humble yourself and bow down. Come on, somebody. 
this year. Start to work up on the heart of God. Oh, the enemy go on his side. Yeah, 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 yeah. The God of Israel. Start to work on the heart of Naaman. Naaman began to get soft in his heart. There are some of you that God is working on your hearts. Allow God today to touch you like he never touched you before. Because this message is for somebody. You've been praying a long time. You've been praying. You've been fasting. But today might be your day to just leave it at River Jordan. Come on, clap your hands in the air like you don't care. Can we take a praise break? Can we take a moment? Somebody clap your hands in the air. Can we take a moment? Can we take a moment? Can we take a moment? And finally, Naaman said, the man of God said, seven times. I have gone six times, but this is my seventh time. And so, Naaman, the man with leprosy, decided to obey the man of God. And he went down, and this time when he went down, he hold it. This time when he went down here. Come on, somebody! Come on, somebody! He said, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna come back up so quick because this is my last opportunity. Can I get somebody to jump up on your feet and start to praise God? This is my last chance, and I'm gonna give God my very best. I'm gonna give him my very best. Somebody just want to raise not one hand. Your body has been around sat with pain. Your body has been diagnosed for all kind of ailments. But like Naaman, today. You have been coming to church. You have been going to church for so long. Come here, Sister Laurel. Come with your two hands. Come here with your two hands. Come here. Come with your two hands. Up. Come, come up here. Come turn around. This lady, last week, Tuesday night, she came to church after so many years of going to the doctor. And she came to church. And we were having healing ministry last Tuesday night. And the Lord said, I want you to grip her back by the hip. And I reached out my hands and I gripped her back. Not knowing what is what. When it was all over, she came back Thursday night and testified that there was a big lump on her hip bone, a big lump. And because of that, she could hardly walk. And she said, when my hands grabbed the lump, some of you can see to pray, look at that, look at that. She couldn't do this before. Come on, Sister Laura, go ahead and pray, so pray. Come on. And she said in a healing service, I received a miracle from God. I received a miracle. She said, Bishop, I'm feeling for the lump. I am searching for the lump, Bishop. Turn around, turn around. Come on, somebody, clap your hands. There is no lump. Come on, somebody, there is no lump. I can remember we shouted 
on the seventh shot. If you believe God like you never did before, if you say thyroid, I command you to be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart, I command you to come in line with the word of God. Blood pressure, drop and stay drop. Go to normal. Jesus. Sugar, diabetes. I command you to regulate now in the name of Jesus. Blood, blood clotting and make blood situation. Blood, I command you on somebody. Blood, I command you to come in line with the word of God. Cancer cells, cancer cells, cancer cells. Cancer cell on the seventh shot. I'm giving you time to leave my body. Come on, I'm giving sickness time to leave. How many of you in here that right there? I know some of you have never been sick, so you don't want to pray. But sometimes we feel like we're well, and stuff is going on inside of our body, and your chest don't go until you're diagnosed. I feel like I want to preach in hell. Oh, I feel the anointed for healing. I feel the anointed coming now. I feel like somebody's about to get a miracle. I believe right now. I'm not going to look up because the way that I'm feeling right now, I believe that your praise is going to do it for you. I believe that your shout is going to do it for you. Now, I believe it, oh God, that somebody, now, come on, my brother, just give me as the Holy Ghost gives you. Come on, somebody, now. I believe that somebody's getting ready. Somebody's getting ready to get a miracle. Somebody's stroke. Somebody's about to get new thyroid. Somebody's getting about to get a new back. Somebody's about to get hair grown. Somebody's about to get something grown. Somebody's about to get a new organ. Oh boy, there's a kidney. There's a kidney. Some of you now. Oh shit. There's a kidney. I see kidneys growing. I see kidneys being transformed. I see kidneys. I see kidneys. Somebody show kidneys. Somebody show kidneys. I speak to liver. I speak to liver conditions. Cirrhosis of the liver. Fatty liver. I speak to you right now. Oh, somebody help me here. Somebody help me here. I feel like virtue is leaving my body right now. Oh, glory to God. Come here, take a mess. Oh, glory. Come on, somebody. Just put this over me. Over my leg. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh Jesus, 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 somebody, somebody, now, if you're ready for a miracle, I feel like a healing virtue, I speak like a prophet Elisha, I speak right now with authority, I speak right now with authority, if you can just believe the God of Israel, the covenant God today, you shall receive a miracle in this church, you shall receive a miracle receive a miracle on your phones. You shall receive a miracle on your tablets and computers. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Lord, we need miracles again. We need miracles to be wrought again. Not just one or two, but Lord, oh God. Lord, work a miracle. Work miracles today in this program. Work miracle today in this church, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Condition your mind. Condition your mind. The Lord said, I'm not to touch one of you. I am not going to touch you because I can't heal you. Yeah. Do you believe? Do you believe for your sugar? Do you believe that your blood pressure, your arteries can be cleansed? I come against cholesterol. I come against cholesterol plaque in the arteries. I command the right amount of iodine to flow like an IV drip. Like an IV drip, oh God. Come on. I command the proper iodine to flow. I speak right now to the glomerulus in the kidney. Oh my God. Oh Jesus, 
I speak to kidneys, I speak to a colon. There is someone with a colon problem. Oh, no, no, go sit down. Come on, my brother. Come on, come on. Come on. Just, just pray for the prophetic. Come on, get in the spirit, get in the spirit, get in the spirit. Come on, flesh can't go where I'm going now. Flesh can't go where I'm going. No flesh can go where I'm going. No flesh can enter in. Oh, Jesus. Those of you in this church, empty yourself. Come on, empty yourself. Empty yourself if you need a miracle.
is going to do it for you. And if I was you, when I shout on the seventh time, I would shout my way out of sickness. I would shout till I don't have no strength left in me. I would shout till God's anointing saturate my body from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I will not stop Somebody is already believing God. Some of you need a miracle in your finances. Some of you need a miracle in your business. Some of you need a miracle in your ministry. Some of you need a miracle on the job. Some of you need a miracle with your children. Some of you need a miracle in your marriage. Oh, I wish that I had one more. Some of you need a miracle, oh God, in your home. Some of you need a miracle. You know what it is that you need God to do for you. Some of you need a double portion. Some of you need a miracle in your health and in your finances. Some of you need a miracle in your health and in your marriage. Some of you need a double portion. Some of you need a triple portion. But on the count of seven, I don't know about you, but I'm getting ready. I am getting ready now. And I ain't coming and touching nobody. I'm going to be like Elisha. It's up to you if you want to dip. It's up to you if you want to shout. It's up to you if you want to praise God. It's up to you if you want to make pride stop you. It's up to you if you want to make your hate knowledge stop you. But when I count to seven, on the count of seven, then you must know seven! But you 
you have received a miracle. And that you will come back and testify. You will bring a good report. Because of what God has done.
Come on, somebody, give God praise in here. Give God praise in here. They speak with authority, not about in and weaving. Just give her a little more affection because she loves you dearly. She loves you. And I'm going to do something here today. Just hug your wife, just to you. Just hug her. Give me that little kiss that you did when you got married. That's all right. Let the Lord have his way. Don't let it go. No, 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 no. I'm not sure you did it. Come on, come on. Give me that refreshing. Come on, hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it right there. Come on, somebody. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. See the hand stopping? See the hand stop? Okay. Before you get in the photo, go back to your seat. Go home with the fire. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands. How many were blessed today? 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 Oh, come on, let's clap your hands in the air. How many were blessed today? I want to say a special thank you to all of you out there on Facebook. I want to thank God for your shares, for your likes, for your comments. I want to thank God for every one of you. And may the Lord continue to bless you. Please share with hundreds. Share with groups. Share with your family, your children, your friends. Until next time, God bless all of you. From all of us here at Vision America Church of God, Port Moore, St. Catherine, Jamaica. Give a joyful noise. Come on, open your mouth. Wait, come on, let's clap your hands. And just turn around and say, God bless you. Tell everybody, say it loud and clear. Wave your hands. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Brother Steve. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.